Howdy! How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I hope this finds you all well, kicking up your heels and getting ready for spring. I know some parts of the country had some snow today. I hope that, uh, <laughs> that it's passed you by. Um, I'm looking forward to spring. I don't know about you. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting some of these really cool little greeting cards. Um, at least backgrounds for them. I've got these little strips of paper that I have saved from projects that I have cut out. And what I use all these scrap pieces for is to paint and make backgrounds for greeting cards. You take your card stock then and you can cut around them, you know, cut them out, fussy cut them or whatever you need to do uh, or cut them up into pieces, however you want to do it. But I paint backgrounds on these. <clears throat> And use them on my greeting cards. There's all kinds of paints you can use. You can use acrylics. You can use your into inks. You can use uh, uh, alcohol inks. You know, whatever you want to use. Today, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using ink dye. The Gord Master ink dye that I'm so crazy about. And with uh, this, I've got a whole lot of different colors of it that I'm going to use. And I've got a set of paint brushes over here that I'm going to be using. And I've got some micro brushes over here that I'll be using. And I've got some Q-tips I may be using. Uh, you just never know what I'm liable to come up with with this. It's just going to be, you know, art, art in motion. So you just have to kind of watch with this and, and see what I end up doing. This particular color is aqua. And it doesn't take very much of this. I mean, this ink dye goes a long way. That's why I love it so much. And... We're going to just kind of put in a little bit of aqua here on this card and try to get it so you can see it and still keep from and I see how I just kind of stipple it on with the brush. Covering up the, the white part. And then what I'm going to do is put a little alcohol on it. Well, if my arthritis allow me to open up the alcohol bottle, I will. There we go. Just put a little alcohol on there. I'm going to treat it like alcohol ink. I'm just going to spread that out. See how far that goes? Lord have mercy. And I mean... That was just a drop that I put there on the, the palette. I didn't even pull up a whole drop of that paint. But we're going to even it out here a little bit by just brushing it up here. On This is canvas paper that I'm using. I call it cardstock, but it's canvas paper. Oh, my computer's just all having all kinds of little fits here. For goodness sakes. Behave yourself. Now, I could pull it up even further if I wanted to on here. But I don't think I want to. I think that looks pretty good. Now, see if I can get a fingernail underneath it and pick it up there a little bit. Take my paper towel. Just kind of daub this up where I'm making a mess. I'll lay it on the paper towel. That'll help. Soak some of that alcohol up. Rub clear out to the edges. Now I'm going to wipe my brush down. And as a matter of fact, I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol and put it in the lid of the alcohol bottle to rinse my brush off in. There we go. Set that off to the side here. See how much paint comes off of that brush right into the alcohol. We'll wipe it down here a little bit more. This is how we clean the brush. Because I'm not wanna, gonna want to contaminate the next color of paint with this aqua. My brush still has paint in it. I can see it. 
Lord have mercy. He just really soaks it up, don't it? Now this is going to kind of be a little bit of a water scene, I guess you could call it. Spring and summer's coming, so I thought I'd go with something a little more springy summery. All right, I think I got the majority of it off of there. Now, I want to go in with a, a lighter shade of blue for the... So what color are they calling this blue? Well, I'm not seeing a color on it, but it looks a little dark to me for what I'm wanting. Do I have a lighter shade? Let me see all my colors up here. I'm not really seeing another shade of blue. Oh, well, I see another shade, but I know it's darker. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Whoa. Chew. That's enough to paint the house. <laughs> it came out in a heated rush. Um, yeah. Ooh, that just soaked right up in that brush with that alcohol in it. So I'm just going to kind of dab that around up here on the top of it a little bit. I can always add a little alcohol to the card. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Just a little bit of alcohol on there. Make it spread a little bit better. There, a little bit up there on the top of it. Just kind of spread that down some. It doesn't need to be as deep a blue as the water. Maybe I didn't get as much down there as I thought I did. Okay, just a little bit more. Don't go crazy. <laughs> I have to talk to you a little bit. Okay. Gonna need a little more alcohol there to spread it. You just keep testing back and forth with what you like. And what you don't like and change what you have to change. There's no set rules to this. It's all just creating. You see how that spreads it once you get the alcohol on there and just kind of spreads it around. Thins it out. Kind of pulls down into that water a little bit too. It's fine. I don't mind that a bit. Spread that out. Okay. Now, rinse out the brush. We got a darker blue on the bottom and a brighter blue on the top. And I love the way that that came down and just kind of made a line in that water there. That's cool. Nice background. Now what I'm going to do is get a piece of paper towel. I'm just going to kind of blot that a little bit. When I say blot, I don't mean you take the paper towel and rub it around on there. I'm saying you put the paper towel down and you rub on top of the flat paper towel, not moving the paper towel. See that? And then you come up. I'll show you there's some blue on there. It pulls up some alcohol. You just blot to pull some of the moisture off. Now, I can hit that with a heat gun and really dry it out. So this, show you the back of this. This is why you don't want to do this on the card itself. 
you do this on a background piece that you're going to tape or glue to the, the top of the card. When you trim up any frayed edges or anything here, nice sharp pieces, pair of scissors, and um, put this on a card. But that's the start. We're getting the background laid. And I'll take a paper towel here. And, well, I need to get a little alcohol on that and clean that mess up. There we go. Clean the palette up a little bit. All right. Now, what do we want to put in there next? Well, see our our sea looks a little choppy down here. It's kind of a stormy day going on. And so there's not going to be much sunshine. We might want to put a little cloud in there. So we'll take a little bit of this white ink. A drop of that down there. You know, that's not much. There we go. We're going to pull that up with the brush. Just kind of swirl some, some clouds up there. I may even darken them clouds up a little bit because it's an old rainy looking sky. Rub them out a little bit. These aren't these aren't sunshiny clouds. These are like rain clouds. Just kind of brush them out there. And Dropping rain on the sea and making it choppy. Okay, now I think that I would like to try to put something in my sea down here. And I believe it probably needs a boat. Let me see. Come in here with a. Now we'll start with this one. This is a deep orange color. Put a little bit of that down. And you know, most of my paintings are impressionistic, so this is going to be impressionistic. We're not trying to make this look like a fancy yacht. On the old choppy sea, we're going to have a boat. Well, what's up with my brush? Wipe this down a little bit. Loosen her up. There we go. Well, maybe I won't use that brush. Let me see. Let me take a look here a minute. I think maybe I need to go with the flat. Yeah. Let's let's try the flat with that. Pull a little paint up in there. And we're gonna go with our little boat out here on the sea. Yeah, that's giving me the shape I'm looking for. See my little boat out here? We'll just drag it, drag up the nose of it a little bit. And we're gonna kind of put a maybe a mast or two on there. So it looks like a fishing boat. down the, the brush real good, get the ink out of it. I'm thinking maybe we want to put another boat in there. Let's bring a boat 
Maybe one a little bit closer down here. And since he's a closer boat, he could be a little bit bigger, maybe. Put him down here on this little wave of the ocean. We'll put a couple masts up on him, too. Now, wipe that brush down real good. I want the brush clean. I don't want a bunch of paint left in it. So, we're going to make sure we get it washed out good. Take good care of your tools. They'll last you a long time. Okay, got that one washed out. Now, what else do I want to put in my picture? I got some clouds and some boats on the sea with some storm going on. And giving this a little think, a little thinky think. Maybe back here in the back, I'll put a little land mass. Let's soak up that orange paint there. And for a land mast, I want to come in, I think, with a little espresso, a little dark color. Maybe it's the, the port off in the distance of the city that the boats are trying to get to. And there again, I think I'm going to use the same brush. Soak a little of that espresso up. Because we want to cover up a little bit of this blue. And so we need a dark color for the blue to put our... It might, might not even be a city back there. It might just be a shore. They're trying to get to the shore to get out of the storm. I'm going to clear up to the edge of the, the piece. Okay, so we got the land mass. Now, what do we want to put on the land mass? I'm thinking we might want to go with looking at my colors up here I'd like to go with kind of a gray and in order to do that I'm probably going to need to go with a little white in that espresso color maybe a lot of white in it make it a tanner color something to look like a rock and I'm going to take my micro brush. Stir that up real good. Lighten it up. You can't see the color there. See how I'm lightening that up? Okay, now we take the micro brush. It's up here where you can see. We're going to put maybe some, some boulders. Up here, it's a rocky, rocky beach. I don't want to take it all the way out to the edge of the water. It's kind of back here on the edge of it. There's a lot of rocks back in there. That's looking pretty good. Not too bad at all. As a matter of fact, I might take just a little bit more of that to define my mess on my ships. They dropped their, they dropped the sails because it's stormy out there.
See? Now there's your little scene for, for one card. That could be a get well card, you know, like, uh, I don't know, put put some kind of a sentiment on it. Like, uh, well, of course, get well soon. She opened up the inside of it. And, you know, I could say like, uh, <clears throat> when it, when things are stormy, you know that there's clear days ahead, you know, something to that nature you could put on the inside of the card. I try to cheer people up a little bit, you know, let them know that it might not be as bad as what they think. Now I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to do another card up over here. All right. And on this one, let's see. I think I want to do this one a little brighter. Something a little brighter on this one. Let's go with... Uh, da, 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 da. I've got some... Classic green. But I want to... Lighten it up. And I'm going to put... Maybe a little of this light green. Drop of this light green with it. And uh, let's see. Maybe a drop of white. Or two. Since we had two different colors there. And I'm probably going to end up putting some alcohol to that. But right now, I'm just going to stir that up. And let's see what color we end up with out of that. Should lighten it up real nice. Yeah, that's not bad. Now. I just want to clean this micro brush off here on the, the card. I'm going to be adding alcohol and some of that paint to this card. But we're going to start just by cleaning off the micro brush there a little bit. Put a few drops of alcohol on there. Just drizzle it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now I'm going to take my Big fan brush. Just start rubbing that in. Swirling it around. Take it all the way to the edges. Pick up some more of that green. Swirling it around as that alcohol dries. There again, it'll just be pulling up the lines in it. As it starts to dry, I'll just keep adding a little bit of alcohol to make lines. Because it'll soak it up. And then it'll dry just like it was on that water piece. That gives it like levels. And if you ever end up with a background that you don't particularly like, you can always cut it up into pieces to make little pieces of background or put it through your die cutter with dies on it, you know, to make as a background on your dies. You can put it through embossing folders and give it texture. All kinds of things you can do with these backgrounds. I love to do this. I'll just take it right on up 
like that on the on the card. Now we're going to want to put in a blue background again. But this time I'm going to lighten this sucker up. This has got to be light. No more of that dark stormy blue like what we had before. So we're going to take one drop of blue. And we're going to take some white. See this is how we learn our lessons. We'll put one, two, three drops of white in that blue. And then I'm going to take the handle of my micro brush to use as a stir. Don't want anything to soak that up. So that's almost white. And just with a blue hue to it. That's what I want. Really stir it up good and get it all. Okay, now wipe off my handle and my brush. I'm going to take some alcohol and drizzle it on my card. Get all of it. Like that. Rub it all out there. Now, take the brush. We'll go to pulling that up. We'll go laying it in. Just that easy. And I'm not taking it into the green because the green's not dry. And there it is. Camera over it so you can see it. Son of a gun. Come on. <laughs> Uncooperative camera tonight. There we go. There it is. So I've got a little little light horizon down in here. I think that's looking pretty. We dribbled a little bit of blue in there, but that's okay. We can we can smooth that around. Blend it. Cover it up with something, maybe. As a matter of fact, I think I'd like to lay in a tree and we're going to go back to the espresso, dark brown. And we're going to use some, let's see, I need, uh, where's the shade of green I'm looking for? I think a little of this color green. And we're going to need to get... Let me take a look here. Um, I'm going to use the fan brush for the, the trunks of the tree. I'll start down in here. Put a little trunk in. It needs to take the edge of the brush and kind of make the roots coming out. Wipe my brush off. Now I'm going to want to put my tree in and I need my fan. Where's my fan? Huh. What's time we're done? My fan brush. And I don't see it. Son of a gun. Well. Let me see here. I'm looking. See if I can find my fan brush over here. 
doggone it. Well, of course, I'm going to drop everything in the process of trying to find it. I don't know where it went. That's how it works. When you want something, you can't find it. Huh. Well, we're going to make this work one way or another. Pick up a little of that green. Start up here with the green. I'm just going to start fanning this in a evergreen tree. This is not going to look as nice as what I wanted it to look because I can't find the doggone fan brush. Take it right down there on the trunk. And it goes right off the page. Making a little taller. Bring, bring some limbs out on him there a little bit. There we go. That's not too bad of an evergreen tree, considering. Putting a little breath to it there to dry it a little more. Again, I'm going to blot. Just blot. I'm not trying to move the paint around, just trying to blot the alcohol off of it. Okie doke. Now, what else do we want to put in there? I'm thinking we want to maybe put in a little bit of ground crossed here. Kind of take, make it look like. Got a little bit of little dirt showing there in the grass. Give it some level. Maybe we'll want to put in some mountains. Back here in the back. Kind of give a little bit of background to it. Okay. So now I think that looks pretty good just as it is. I don't know that I would do another doggone thing to it except probably just take some kind of a sentiment to stick there on the front of it or, or maybe even across the top of it. I'm thinking probably down in here would look better. And um, putting that on a card. That looks good. So we got two of them painted. Now we'll come with number three. And we'll get a little alcohol on my brush and clean it up a little bit here and get some of the paint out of it. There we go. Now I'm just going to put some alcohol on my card from the cleaner jar. It's got a little color in it. Just get it wet. And don't have much paint up there on the palette now. What kind of color do I want to put here on the bottom of this one? Maybe maybe we'll just go with brown on the bottom. Okay, rubbing the color in there. Right into the alcohol. Take it clear to the edges. All right. 
Then I'm going to take a little more alcohol. Just kind of dab that around on it. And that's what's going to dry and give it levels. That's how we're giving it levels. Gives it levels and it gives it texture. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little more alcohol in the lid here. And I want to put in a little sky. I'm going to grab a little sky. All that blue that we mixed with the white. The brush still had a little brown in it, so it's going in a little dark. But that's okay, because if I don't like it once I get it down, I can fix it. Pulling it up and dropping it in. A little more alcohol. Keep grabbing that paint. There's just a little bit of that orange still there on the, the mat, so we're grabbing a little of that too. That's fine. It is what it is. Put a little more of the blue down. And some more of the white. And we'll take the handle of the micro brush again. Go over that. Mix it in. Lighten that blue up. I'll take my brush and get some alcohol on it. Pull up some paint. Just go rubbing that in. Rub it in up here. Rub it in up here. See how that just blends in then? Whatever I put down before just blends in with what I'm putting down now. I'm taking it right down to the brown. A little more alcohol, a little more paint. There we go. That is laid in. Now, I'm going to want to put some clouds up here in my sky. Clouds are white. So we grab some white paint. And do, 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 do. I'm going to use this brush. Grab some alcohol. Grab some white paint. Let's paint some fluffy clouds up here in my sky. I just kind of use circular motions there with the brush or half circles. The clouds are never symmetrical. Gonna be poofy in different directions. I just kind of leave some hints of clouds in there. A little bit here and there.
All right, now we're going to want to put some birds, I think, in this sky. Let's use the same brush and we'll pick up some of that brown. Okay, five birds in the sky. Rinse off the brush. Now we need something down there on the dirt. What do we want to put in our dirt? <laughs> Let's go with pick up some of this green. Thinking we can use the green, put in some some greenery down here. Doesn't have to be dark. It just kind of give the hint of some plants growing. Remember, it's impressionistic. A few little, few little plants coming up out of our dirt. And there on the bottom. And let's see. I'm trying to think what else I might want to put in there. What is talking to me? Maybe we want to go with looking at my paint colors here. See if I can put in what I'm what I'm thinking about. Well, soft soft beige might work. Let's see. And like I say, even if you don't like it, you can always cut it up later and use it for something else. They don't all have to be masterpieces, you know. Going back in here. That's kind of dark for a well. Uh, light, I guess I should be saying. It's kind of light for what I had in mind. Okay. So, that answered that question. Now. This probably did. it. Matter of fact, I'll just put it right, right in with that. We'll try that. Alcohol in a brush. Grab that. There, it's going darker. Kind of putting a mahogany color mountain in there. And we take alcohol, and drop in it, drop in this one too, because that's going to leave our layering in the mountain. A small one back in here. Kind of off in the distance. I'm going to pull this on down into this foreground. Blend.
Okay, kind of mountains with some birds and a little more of that green. Bring that up just a little bit more, a little more depth to it. Alcohol's making it blend into the brown a little bit too much for me. Okay. But there it is. So you can see it. Not too bad, not too shabby. Shabby, shabby. Make a nice little background on a card. Up at the top of it, you can put the sentiment. I'm trying to clean the desktop up here so I can see what I'm doing. Keep this where you can see it. So we got that one. That's three. Now do another one. Doodle another one. And uh, let's see. Everybody seems to enjoy my painting some, so I'll try to do a little bit for you. Now, this will be like an abstract. We're just going to put some color in. We've got our brown. We've got our orange. We've got our white. Um, put some blue down here put some do, 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 do. yeah some yellow might be nice so this is just going to be a little abstract background something pretty to put a sentiment or a an emboss put it through an embosser or something so let's see, let's take, um, let's take this first. We're just gonna lay some of this in. Put some alcohol to it, rub it around. Putting this through an embosser will be really cool. Give it a lot of texture. And Let's see, I think I'll go in with this one up in here. We're going to add alcohol. Go smoothen that out a little bit. And we want to come in with this. Put blue in between them. The alcohol to smooth it. Get some more alcohol on the brush. I'm going to grab some this one and I'm going to grab some of this one. Grab Rinse my brush a little bit. Grab some of this. Take a little bit of white, put in that blue, put it in the red. Just kind of lightens it up a little bit when you drop that in there. And grab some of this. Grab some of that. The color I was missing was the green. I thought I had some green out there, but I didn't. So we'll fix that. Drops of green. Get some alcohol on the brush and grab some of this green and go to laying it in. Okay. 
hither, thither, and yon. And not every inch of the, the cardstock has to have paint on it. You know, especially if we're going to end up putting this through an embossing folder and use another shade of green here on it. Now, we're just going to take alcohol and we're just going to rub alcohol around it on all that paint. Alcohol kind of reactivates it, but it, wherever this alcohol dries, it will also give it depth because it will be laying the lines from the alcohol in where it dries. So this is a nice little abstract piece. Run that through an embossing folder to give it texture. And then you can put your cinnamon on that. So if you think that there's any place where it needs a little bit more, we'll grab some of that yellow. Go we'll hand some of that in there. Put the yellow and the brown. Just kind of dot some color on it. And that's a little abstract piece. Okay. Give you any ideas for things that you can do to start building your cards. Now, let's see. I'm going to take some, some of this green. Uh, I've already got some blue on my brush. Kind of make a green blue. Put that down here. On the bottom of it, kind of use up some of this paint on this one. I don't like to leave a bunch of paint laying on my table. I can help it. And then I'll come in a little bit of blue. And a lot of alcohol. It's a pretty shade of blue, but boy, it's dark. Okay, then I'm going to pick up this brown color, espresso. Dragging my brushes through my paint. I'm going to need to be clean now. <laughs> Pick up a little of this. That orange. I'm just going to kind of go to grabbing paint. It's going to be kind of muddy up in this area. But if we're going to use this as a background, it's not supposed to be a scene pick. It's just supposed to be painted for background. So putting this down is all that's necessary. Now I'm going to pick up some of this white. And I'm just going to kind of make lines through my color. And it'll blend in because of the alcohol.
And I want to come in with a little more color over top of that, though. So maybe some of this color. This is one we haven't used. And it's a pretty color. So I'm going to grab a little alcohol. It's a saddle color. I always like that one real good. That can go right in there. A little more of it to fill in that space. Take it on out to the edge. And there's that one. Now, how many have we got done? I wanted a half a dozen. We got one, two, three, four. That's five. I need one more. All right. So we got this. And this is going to be a colorful one. Some really bright. I need a little more alcohol in my lid. Should probably wash that brush off first, but that's okay. Like I say, we'll just blend it in, it'll be fine. It's card background. Now, pick up some color and start laying color in. I warned you. <laughs> Told you it was going to be colorful. Take alcohol. Lay in that. Let it start drying. And laying the lines in it. I love the way the alcohol does that. As it dries, it just puts the lines right in it. Light spots and dark spots, it's fine for a background. You want that. You don't need it to be real precise. Okay, so we've about used that magenta up. Wants the brush real good here. And I need another really nice bright color to go with that. Excuse my arm while I check my paints out here. Well, this will do. This will do. Apple red. Holy smoke. Talk about bright. We got magenta and we got apple red. Like dog. So we'll pick up some alcohol and start laying that down here on the on the card. So it has a wet background. Sort of like watercoloring, but with alcohol. And alcohol dries a lot faster than water does, so we're gonna pick up some red. I'm just gonna start squiggling it in there. So we go from red from magenta to red here. Wherever it's a little thick, you can just grab it and move it. As long as you keep it wet, it'll move. Scribble it in there. See, this is another one. I'll probably put this through an embossing folder to lay texture to it and use it as, as the background on a card. It'd be gorgeous. 
people be asking you, well, how did you do that? I wouldn't believe how simple it is to do this. Now you'll get to see these again because I'll be doing a video on how to make the cards in a day or two. And you will see how this turns out after I put it through the embossing folder and pretty did it good. But there it is. You know, and while you say, well, don't look like much right now. Wait, just wait. It ain't it ain't done yet. Once it's dry. And then it goes through that embossing folder and adds all the texture to it. And then we add our sentiment to it, whatever we're going to put on there. Holy smoke. You'll say, why did I ever buy a greeting card in my life when doing it? It's that simple. So with all that being said, be sure and check out my Etsy store. There's lots of pretty things on the Etsy store. I have a Patreon channel now. The URL for that is in the description of the video. And I'm in the process of trying to get a video up on there. And I'm learning how to operate. Uh, all the software and everything that goes along with trying to bring you better productions. Um, and my PayPal donation button is in the description of the video too. Since uh, YouTube has decided to take Snapchat or uh, Snapchat, uh, Super Chat away from me um, because I didn't hit the 4,000 hours that uh, they're so goofy that they think everybody has to hit. Well, we'll just do it through PayPal. I like PayPal better anyway. Um, and I have another channel in the description or the URL for that's in the description of the video. I have Instagram. I have um, twi Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> so you can find me there. And if you enjoyed what I did here today, share this on your social media. Give it a thumbs up. And I guess there's just one thing left to say. Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda. <laughs>